My name is Karen Kane. I go under spiritual sober yogi because I love finally uh, getting into spirituality and tapping into source within my light. And wow, it took a long time. It took a long time to get sober too, for reals. Uh, I am six years sober. I am a divorced mom of an almost 17 year old. Today is International Women's Day, as well as my birthday. <sighs> this journey, this journey here on earth and this, my soul in this body, in my pajamas, <clears throat> it's, it's a healing journey. It's a healing journey into a hero's journey. Why? Because I've been through so much shit. I really have. And my soul put myself in those situations so that I can learn and grow and ascend my vibration. So I pretty much barely, I practically killed myself with alcohol. I used to wake up and drink vodka. I used to like carry little airplane bottles of vodka around and I drank vodka cause it, it didn't have the smell. Um, I would put peppermint, like pure extract peppermint on my tongue before I would go into work. It was really, <laughs> it was brutal. I'd brush my teeth and I'd, I'd vomit like all the time. Like talk about gross, talk about gross. So, um, so today I'm here to help others freaking light up this, the light. Let's freaking put match to it and, and some, uh, what do you call it? What you call it? That stuff that makes it. Can we do that together? Are you ready? Do you know what it's like to feel alive, awake, where everything just seems And I totally just hit my headphone and it cut off, but here we are, we're back. So it is my birthday and anytime somebody loves me, texts me this morning, I just start crying and I tell you why. I'll tell you why, because I was in a relationship for about, so first of all, when I got sober, my boyfriend at the time left me and wow, I was going through so much. Like my whole, life, whole entire life was changing. Well, I had to change my whole life. Otherwise I would be, I was dying. I was killing myself. I was at the bottom and he left me. And so that was, I never really experienced such a, um, just so much happening all at once. Like, how am I going to do this? I had to be really strong. So I, I plugged into my health. I did a transformation program, totally like did a 180. And uh, through that process was able to start to like lift my vibration and then I was tapping into my spirituality and taking classes and then I decided I was going to dive into become a spiritual practitioner and that was like two and a half years of studies all while doing also um, booty yoga and becoming a certified instructor for booty yoga which all of those things put together just um, have <sighs> really built up my confidence and my faith, my faith. I was in that relationship. Oh, I got in a relationship um, after three years of being sober and not being with anybody, just working on myself, working on myself, working on myself. I think it's better if I sit in this tree. You see this cool tree? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna like put my face to the sun even though it's kind of hidden, it's all right. And then I, then I started um, dating somebody. It turns out the person I was dating um, was like almost a reflection of, yeah, they're my teacher, my best teacher ever, my best friend, my teacher. Um, but when things got out of alignment, it was so painful. Um, you meet somebody who is going to teach you exactly what you need to heal. <laughs> so they trigger those wounds, those deep, deep wounds inside for you to become aware. And as much as it's painful, it helps you heal those past wounds that were either created from, it could have been even past lives or combination of past lives plus 
um, you know, your upbringing, whoever, you know, kind of guided you and taught you um, the lessons of life when you were young, a lot of those patterns just don't serve us and we have to break those patterns if we want to. You don't have to. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> it's like freaking hard. <laughs> Stick a dagger in my heart. Nah. <laughs> it's all worth it in the end, you know. Um, it's all worth it. Uh, growing, learning, challenging yourself, doing things that are so uncomfortable. Ah! <laughs> but that's where the breakthrough. Breakdown break down into um, the transformation process. Pivot to ascension. Pivot to ascension. Like, okay, how am I gonna navigate through this situation that I didn't expect? That is bring, that's brought to me because I attracted it so I could heal and learn through this experience and, and then take that and then build upon that experience, but also heal level up and so you level up and <clears throat> then you no longer need that that thing that was you know um kind of <sighs> the energy maybe wasn't wasn't resonating like i said like out of alignment if we're out of alignment um you know we, we drift apart or we grow in separate ways and we move on our journey and then we'll attract you know what we want or, or what we're ready for at this time in our life. And so, you know, let go, let God. Everything is happening for our greatest and highest good, no matter how it seems like right now. I'm like, <laughs> like, why is everything seemingly breaking down right in, right in front of my feet, you know? Um, it's to level up. So I'm ready to level up. I'm ready to help others heal because I've been there and you don't have to be there like at all. Um, nah. And we're here to just like freaking live, really truly live and find our purpose and then help others tap into their, their like purpose and their passion. So National Women's Day, I salute and I honor every woman that has come into my life or even birthed me. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> and I honor each and every one of you with all of my heart. You have truly, truly been a blessing and you are a blessing. And I can't really bring to words other than bring it in, let me hug you. Come in, come in, heart to heart. Thank you. The women are the ones who have really, really changed my life for the better. The men, they have helped me heal my past wounds and shown me my worth and what I really want and deserve. That's your crown. Wear it with pride. Have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. If you liked this content, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment, click the bell so you get notifications. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Namaste. Peace, love, namaste.